Hi guys, Mike back again with an HMS Victory update. Now I know these series of videos are not my most popular um, videos. Um, it is something a little bit different and maybe I'm mis-selling myself or my channel a little bit by doing these videos. But I really enjoy this um, this hobby, this this bit of the hobby and uh, um, and, and like to keep a record for myself. So, you know, um, I, yeah, anyway, so I think it's quite funny that, you know, the, the things that get views and the things that don't get views and, um, the things that get comments and not. So, I mean, I, I certainly know there are a couple of guys out there who, who like these videos. Um, Styrene Phoenix for one, he, he's been, he's been, um, badgering me to get another, another, uh, episode out, which actually has spurred me on to do this. So I must thank you Styrene Phoenix. Um, for, for spurring me on to do the next part of this video and uh and ian over at the diomede f16 he he appreciates uh, a good wooden ship build as well so um yeah two two top guys and two top channels actually so anyway here is an update for, for you guys and for me to keep a record and for anyone else who is interested in model ship building so i'm up to issue 33 of 120 um i've received up to and including issue 40 so i've still got a bit of a bit, a bit of a way to go so anyway issues 32 and 33 which i've just completed is this row of planks here four rows of planks bow to stern so issue 33 was doing the bow planking and issue third sorry issue 32 was doing the bow planking issue 33 was doing the stern planking now up until now planking has been quite easy relatively because it's quite straight and it curves round quite nicely and the curve stays straight around the bow. Now as we're getting towards the keel you need to start curving upwards so the angle of attack on these planks is going to be um, it's going to be kind of like kind of like this going round rather than straight across so they need to start angling towards the keel so they need to start so you can see what I've done there sort of start angling them up so and we and we and we enter the world of droppers and stealers which are terms in in plank laying where you where you need to fit planks but you don't want them to turn into a point because if they turn into a point at the finishing edge you can't pin them so what you need to do is trim the planks in half but no more than half of its original width. So these planks are five mil wide. So you can't trim them any more than two and a half mil. And then bring them together. And then this bit here, this triangular bit here is a dropper. So you, you cut it to shape and then basically, well, drop it in basically. I'm not sure why they're called droppers, but uh, I suppose that's kind of the reason. So then, so that's the sort of way it's gonna look all along. So you need to work out your measurements and plank sort of to these levels and then you've got a triangular bit at the front of the bow that you need to put a dropper in to uh to make it all come nice so that's the, the bow end and then at the stern end which is a little bit messy to be fair but i think it'll come good with uh once it's all finished so the stern end i need to start curving the planks up around the stern underneath the gallery supports so you can see what i've done there all of these to be fair sec oh, my flash has gone anyway so i'll carry on so you can still see um th these are all these should all butt up close to the edge of the gallery support that side's a little bit better and i did better as the, the longer i went the sort of more i did so i'm going to keep going basically i'm going to use some th there's a, a a strip that goes across the back here so all of these rough edges will be covered um, and a little bit of filler and a little bit of sanding will make it all look nice. So that's um, that's my up. Uh, I mean, on this side you can really sort of see it coming together now with the um, with the cutaway. Um, but it's really looking like something now. I mean, I'm really pleased with it um, and, the, and the way this is sort of coming in now. So the next couple of issues, um, issue 34, 35. I have to line all of the gun ports and entry ports. So four bits of wood individually cut to make a lining um, around the inside of the, the port. So that's going to take a while. And then issues 36, 37, 38 basically finishes planking the hull. So we're going to finish 
the whole hull up to the keel. Um, install the garboard planks, which um, which then will accept the real keel um, when it's fitted. So this is the false keel at the moment, just the ribs are attached to. So we're going to end up planking the whole hull, making it all nice and round and smooth. And I can't wait to sand this thing. It advises you not to sand it at all um, until it's all completely done. And it's like a, it's like picking a scab. I can't wait. It is all rough. And I'd love to get a sanding block on there to, to give it a good sanding and make it lovely. But I have to resist until I fully plank the whole hull. So anyway, that's it for me for now. This is part nine, nine, I think, part nine of the HMS Victory build. And I shall try to make the next one a little bit sooner. <laughs> so um, thank you again. Thank you to Ian. And uh, I think, ah, oh, I don't know your name, Styrene Phoenix. I think it's Mick. I knew you were the old git, but uh, are you Mick? I think you're Mick. Anyway, I think it's Ian. Definitely Ian at the Diomede. And, and Mick, I think it's Mick. If not, please correct me clearly. And uh, over at Styrene Phoenix for spurring me on. Because I think if you hadn't have given me a bit of, uh, well, not grief, but you know what I mean, a bit of encouragement to carry on with this, it might well have just sat there. Not, no, you know, I, do, I am going to finish it and I do enjoy doing it, but it's just actually getting it all out and all the accoutrements out to start bending planks and cutting planks and doing all the bits and bobs and stuff. So yes, so I thank you to, to both of you particularly and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks very much guys.